statements and to else if statements. And we've seen that the if statement we passed an argument to it, a condition, uh, to test whether it was true or false. And if it was true, the if statement was executed. If it was false, the else statement was ex executed. Um, what we're going to look at is a while loop. And all these loops and if statements and for loops and all that are uh, essential for programming, for controlling the program and executing the code. And so what we're going to do is a while, a while loop is test a condition for true or false, and it's the keyword is while, and then you've got um, brackets to hold a condition, and it's testing the condition to see if it's true or false, and then you've got the braces, um, start brace, end brace to hold the code code in the loop and if this is true the code inside the loop is going to be executed if it's false it's not going to be executed now if this condition is true let's see this will loop continuously until it becomes false when it, this becomes false it will stop false it will stop looping it will not loop at all and so when it's false when it's true it will continuously loop until it becomes false and so what we're going to do is we're going to ha not put a condition we're just going to put true inside here and then we're going to do system dot out dot print ln and we're going to print looping into command semicolon and this is going to because this is always going to be true it's always going to loop non-stop um, continuously and we're going to have to break the program ourselves because we need a condition inside that where it will loop under a certain condition when that condition changes it will stop looping and this is so if I run the program you'll see that it continues to loop looping, looping, looping. It's going to go, it's go, not going to stop because it's always going to be true. So we need some way of stopping this while loop and um, from looping. And what's happening here is the while loop and the brackets test the condition to see if it's true or false. If it's true, it loops. Then it comes back around, tests the same condition to see if it's true or false. And if it's true, it continues to loop. It keeps doing that, it keeps doing it until this becomes false. But because we've not changed in this condition, it's always going to be true. This is going to loop non stop. And so, what we'll do is we'll stop it ourselves. We've stopped it. And so, we need some way to change this. So, what we'll do, I'll put a false in so you can see it does not loop if it is false. Let's cancel. What's wrong? That's okay. Yeah, that, this is because we're not. Proceed. Proceed. Yeah, it's actually telling us that, that, that it cannot reach this code. Because we put false in, this code is not going to be reached because it's never ever going to get into this while loop. And so the Jaffa, um, the Eclipse um, IDA, is intelligent enough to know this and it's passing that error saying wait you've got this code in here and it's never ever going to be used because it's always going to be false because that's what happens when you put false in there i thought that i could show you that the program not doing anything without an error message but no and so what we're going to do is we're going to put a condition in here we've got a num3 so what we're going to go num it's less than six that's a condition and so when it gets to 6 it becomes false so it starts at 3 it's true loops 4 loops 5 loops comes back round at 6 and doesn't so we need some way to change this it will continue to loop if it stays at num stays at 3 and so what we do is we do x equals non num 
num equals num plus one. So it starts at three, comes in, does the code, adds one to num, num becomes four, comes back round, tests four, num comes, num's four, so it loops, does the code, adds one to num, comes back round, num's now five, okay, comes in, does the code, adds one to num six, comes round, test the condition, six, oh, that's false, and it stops looping, and so we'll test that out. And you can see that was num at three, num at four, num at five, looped three times, and it stopped once num got to six. And what we've done was we kept adding one to to num every time it went into the loop. And this way we could control how many times um, it was going to loop. And so what we'll do is we'll change this to ten. So that's four more loops added to it. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. And so when it got to ten, it stopped looping. Started at three, so that ended up with ten loops. And so that that's a will loop. <coughs> it's a test a condition if it is true or false. Um, you, you normally use a will loop when you don't know how many times you're going to loop. You just know that you want to stop looping once a certain condition is met. Um, and so what we are doing is we are actually using a condition and we're, we're calculating how many times it's going to it's, it's going to um, loop um, but it will be a condition where it's like a con this condition is true until a user types a certain key then it will open or until a certain condition a, a method returns a certain value um, it will test that condition in here and once the certain value is reached, it will stop looping. And so it may be that you don't know how many times it's going to loop something. It's going to loop something until, until a, a certain event happens. And so that's what well loops are for. And so that's that's well loops. You're testing for a true and false condition in here. And the keywords while and the brackets. And you've got your braces to hold the code. You've also got a do while loop. It's you start off with do with no condition and the braces. I'll do it here. Do braces and the code goes in here. That's your, your the braces is the code within the loop and in here at the end of the, the end braces you'll go while then you'll put your condition true or false condition to test for and so it's the exact same as a well loop but a well loop tests the condition here before it loops it tests the condition if it's false it does not loop so if it's testing if, if this is 10 if num is 10 it will come to the well loop I'll go, oh, num is less than 10, oh no, num is equal to 10, false, and it will not loop. Well, what I do loop, I'll always execute the code at least once before it comes to to the to the expression to test. So I'll execute the code, and then it'll go, oh, well, num is less than 10, oh no, num is 10, so it's, it's not less than 10, and it'll stop looping. So with a do while loop you'll always get the code executed at least once and a while loop you will not get the 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 loop executed at all if it starts off at, see, at false. That's the difference between the two loops. So so that's it for today. So again thank you for your time and next time we'll be looking at do loop again.